<coughs> my talk will be different from the from talk of Marco because uh, here you can see that uh, objects, not, not collection of objects, but each object and physics of these objects uh, separately. Not, uh, which is not statistical uh, investigation, but, but uh, direct. So, uh, before speaking about uh, soft repeaters, I would like to show you the diagram for uh, uh, normal radio pulses. Normal radio pulses are on, on this diagram PP dot uh, occupy two, uh, one very big region with normal pulse uh, mm, single pulse. Then uh, another uh, small, much smaller collection is of recycled pulses, which are uh, goes to the stage of uh, accretion during which the magnetic field is decreased and rotation is increased. And if the uh, container is lost, then you have single uh, millisecond pulse. So here there are some of them are binary, some of them are single. But uh, you see they have a very low uh, uh, magnetic field and very, very rapid rotation. And this one has rather big magnetic field, uh, and we can build, etc. And not a uh, average rotation. And there is one group of uh, pulsars which is not indicated here, uh, but uh, uh, which have uh, uh, rather slow rotation with the uh, oh, several seconds here, and very high magnetic field as 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 now. So the diagonal should be here. And we, these objects are seen uh, only in uh, X-ray, some of them in the, 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 the elliptic also, but mainly in X-ray, uh, soft gamma, and they uh, have uh, uh, they have uh, several uh, periods of activity, not one like other gamma rivers, but uh, regularly they, they explode and give gamma radiation, during which they show periodical Long time to be observed, have to have low magnetic field. 
Because the other uh, one mm, is at the end. This is, this is a, just a, uh, a, 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 a I would say, I, I don't want to argue about this problem because uh, for the moment I'm not thinking about it. Uh, I, I don't I have no answer to your question. I have no answer. No, I, I understand. But uh, uh, combination of different observations, observations of, especially observation of double uh, pulsar with two neutron stars which are visible as uh, as pulsars. One is uh, with low magnetic field and, and representation, another is with normal magnetic field and, uh, and normal rotation. And uh, if you measure their ages, the age of the millisecond pulsar is much more, uh, uh, older, it's much older than, than the normal pulsar. So, and, and this uh, explains very good by this uh, this model of evolution. So the first, first uh, was exploded the uh, uh, pulsar, which after uh, after uh, accretion increases its uh, velocity and decreased magnetic field. After that, second pulsar, second object was exploded, like uh, giving the normal pulsar, which had not went through the stage of accretion and remained. Uh, to obtain the same, uh, the same properties like uh, normal uh, uh, single balls. So, but let us return to um, soft repeaters. Soft repeaters have been uh, their discovery and their interpretation went through several uh, transformations. Uh, the first uh, 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 Thoughts, uh, the first models of gamma reverse uh, appeared soon after uh, its discovery in 1974, and the main, uh, most results, uh, which still are only uh, confirmed by other observations, have been obtained by Massets and his group uh, at an experiment called Colos. Uh, this experiment uh, was constructed in such a way that it permitted to obtain roughly the direction. Because first, gamma reverse had been uh, discovered by all, uh, all, all, uh, all sides uh, without uh, correlation, and uh, only uh, IP and uh, triangulation permitted to, to make uh, the conclusion that it's. Uh, uh, not, uh, not solar and not planet, it's, uh, it's cosmic. Uh, but uh, to have a big amount of, big number of this object, you need uh, to roughly estimate each of them. And, and it was not one massive, so they observed first 400, about 400 gamma reverses and uh, made the statistics uh, and so on. Among them, uh, 5th March of 1979, they observed a giant gamma reverse. Because that time it was thought that this normal gamma reverse, because now that no other example had, uh, had been known. And this gamma reverse had not been recurrent, it was only once. Uh, so they saw this giant burst, and this giant burst had shown. Uh, that show uh, the uh, oscillations uh, which were characteristic for neutron stars. So it was concluded that this, the gamma reverse are neutron stars uh, belonging to in, in our galaxy, other also because they were uh, thought it was the same origin. But then, uh, very soon it was discovered that uh, this 7th, 5th March object. Uh, is recurrent actually, it's recurrent. So, because uh, masses absorbed several periods of activity which had not been so strong like first one, but still not visible. And also, uh, it was on the sky, it was on the large Magellanic cloud uh, in the vicinity of one su uh, supernova rabbit. But at that time, it was so that this is just 
coincidence. But, but actually, uh, and Mazis himself uh, concluded that this is a coincidence and this gamma reverse is strong because it's very close to us. It's very close. Close, close. Uh, and then because we, we see very large flux. Several tens of persons. No, uh, uh, at that time there were combina uh, collection of gamma rainbows. Yes. And uh, one was well, extremely strongly visible. Yes, and and, and uh, Mazet's interpreted that uh, it is very strong, not because it's stronger than other, but because it's much closer to us. And that's all. Nothing more. That's a very simple uh, idea. Yes, but the thing I'm saying is that if it, if it is uh, close, yes. uh, it will be necessarily uh, not very energetic. Uh, no, yes, that's true. It, it's an energy the same like others. But no, when you see it from a low, a low distance, you see uh, it's like, like very luminous. Yes, but at that time, my point is different. At that time, the distance no, 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 it is not, they, they have not been known at any okay. idea about this. Okay, okay, therefore, therefore, the only ask, uh, question I ask, if you take that source close, mm -hmm. how much will be the flux of that source? Then it will be increased by uh, R, R minus 2 squares. No, but it will be how much? 10 to the 50. Ten to the forty-nine, ten to the Ah, no, no, no. It, it was about ten to forty-one or something. Forty-one. <laughs> about ten to the forty. Ten to the forty. Yes, uh, yes. Terrible. Terrible. Not really typical gamma reverse, because the typical gamma reverse. It, it, it was, it, it was no. Uh, the idea that uh, we discovered that they are cosmological. Later. About twenty years later. Exactly. But what I'm trying to understand is the logic of work. The only thing, if it's so close, it's not the typical gamma ray burst. Why not? In our view, there are neutral stars. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. You know, this one is neutral stars, nothing to do with the gamma ray burst. This is my point. Well, uh, let, 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 let me finish, gone. maybe yes. it will be clear because yes. we, yes. we are yes. just at the beginning. So the first uh, idea about uh, this uh, giant burst was that it is closed. Uh, the second uh, was uh, also, because it was discovered that it was recurrent, it, it also supported this idea. But yes. if they are close, then even smaller bursts we could observe. And other are far away, so we see only, uh, only some big bursts. And, uh, at the same time, he uh, also discovered another recurrent gamma burst, which is not generous, but only uh, simple uh, burst, and the uh, situation becomes less clear uh, until, uh, until uh, in 1997, probably, uh, Becker Sachs' uh, mission discovered uh, optical article was shown and uh, found uh, lines in this uh, optical table which uh, have uh, redshift and what conclusion was that it is cosmological. And uh, the uh, small number of these bursts which have which have giant bursts uh, uh, at that time it was uh, they were discovered uh, another giant because uh, now we have four, four genders. And uh, they are also, all of them are close to uh, supernova remnants and was concluded uh, that it is uh, objects inside of the galaxy which have different origin from gamma rivers. Still, it is not yet clear what the origin of normal gamma rivers. Uh, there are different models. But these uh, objects are more uh, uh, 
order, the more moral law, it's just mutual stars. Uh, and uh, uh, it was that, uh, uh, interesting to think about why they need the bursts, why they are exploding. And uh, during one big, uh, after uh, one uh, big burst in uh, 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 the uh, oscillation similar to 15th March had been discovered, uh, and it was possible to follow, due to previous observations also, not only P, but also P dot. And P dot was very high. So if you use formula for B, you obtain very high, very high magnetic field, uh, 10 to 15 gauss instead of 10 to 12. Uh, uh, and it was concluded uh, that source of energy, source of energy was not uh, uh, the question because slowly rotating, slowly rotating birds have very small, very small rotational energy, and if you uh, calculate uh, uh, n uh, according to type of rotation formula, you will you have, got, you will have very, uh, rather little, little uh, total. Uh, loss of energy, total, little total, but we see only part of it, this total in, in gamma rays, which is about uh, one, uh, one percent or a few percent. Uh, so, uh, rotation cannot be source of energy of this gamma, of, of this uh, sort of interest. And uh, because they found in this way, uh, which I, I explained, it is not, not very uh, uh, not very good way to, to, to make this situation, that it comes from magnetic field. Very high magnetic field make, uh, uh, how to say, annihilation, and energy is a, 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 a explosive uh, kind of uh, energy production, and you see double errors. Uh, uh, in the mid, uh, 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 there are several uh, critics of this uh, of this model, which uh, I'll share uh, tell you in, in, in one minute. Uh, uh, so, uh, in my opinion, it is impossible to have uh, annihilation because if magnetic field is very high, there are no no uh, force which make them annihilate. Because in the sun, there is annihilation because of Convection is working, and convective motion made uh, uh, oppositely directed magnetic field, which is emission angularly. But here there is no convection and uh, no, no way to validate. Uh, and uh, we suggested uh, the model. Uh, now I uh, say uh, uh, there is a competitive model which was considered. Uh, in all time, uh, when we consider just gamma reverse as normal objects, uh, not not cosmological, uh, which is based on the uh, based on the structure of Newton star. Uh, Newton star has a, a complicated structure, so it's it's uh, uh, how to say core and uh, inner inner crust, uh, which is. Uh, uh, consists of matter on the uh, equilibrium in equilibrium state, so lowest energy state. But over there is a layer which we have found in our work with Valerian Chichot, uh, which is in non-equilibrium state. Because uh, there are, uh, if it's accretion, then uh, the chemical composition, composition is changed due to neutralization and this neutralization goes farther and farther and uh, in the equilibrium when the density increases uh, uh, atomic number should grow but, but if uh, uh, colonic uh, repulsion is large there is no uh, merging of all these uh, uh, 
of this uh, uh, nuclei and they remain in non equilibrium state. Uh, other uh, non equilibrium state is obtained when there is a cooling of the neutral star, cooling. And cooling is very rapid due to neutrino emission. So, uh, at, at one point, the uh, number of uh, nuclei is frozen and they have become just very big, very big, overabundant by neutrons and also in non equilibrium state because when they go out, uh, there is immediate uh, better decay due to uh, absence of for uh, Fermi C, absence. In, inside there is a Fermi C which prevent decay. But when it goes up, Fermi C absent, uh, the uh, decay, uh, uh, the uh, nuclei is divided in two because of repulsion uh, of large, large uh, uh, number of protons. And you have a nuclear reaction of I have all this, forget what is fusion or fusion, uh, when it's uh, divided, it, it is fusion or fusion? Fusion. Fusion, yes. Fusion reaction like, like we have an atomic bomb. So this, uh, uh, it's written here, the, this atomic bomb back here, so if they go out due to a process like, for example, uh, bleach or uh, Volcano or, or the neutral star which happened in this earth, you, you have this uh, explosion which, uh, which uh, spectrum should be uh, close to the spectrum of nuclear explosion. And uh, actually these objects have been obtained in satellite, on satellite which were flying around Earth for checking are there are nuclear explosions of Soviet Union. The uh, SIM of uh, Vila, Vila Sandler, discovered this uh, uh, spectrum, which is exactly uh, like spectrum of gamma reference. So, I, uh, there is a two competitive models now. One is uh, generally accepted, more or less, uh, not all, of course, which is called Monitor model. And other model is, which is based on this nuclear explosion. The model which explains luminosity of soft repeaters. No relation to, to gamma rivers. So just only soft repeaters. Right and uh, here I want to present you uh, possibility uh, of testing between these two models. Now a few words about critics of uh, magnetar model. Uh, so, first of all, there is one soft repeater which has low magnetic field. If you calculate magnetic field in the same way like uh, or other one, or this uh, soft repeater has uh, magnetic field less than 2, 7, 10 to 12, which is quite normal. Uh, so, it cannot give you uh, uh, effects of, of gamma rivers of soft uh, Second, slow rotation. Slow rotation and very high magnetic field. If you look at the radio pulses, which I have shown you in the, the uh, diagram first. So, there are radio pulses which has magnetic fields and periods close to close to uh, magnetars. So, uh, especially look at this pulse. It has period 7.7 seconds and magnetic field 10 to 14. And it has no, no uh, explosions, just normal pulse. Therefore, uh, people who read astronomers who observe this made the conclusion that property of pulse prove that inferred dipolar magnetic field strengths and field can be among responsible for usual high energy properties of magnetar and create new challenge for understanding of possible relation between two manifestations of young, uh, these two manifestations of young star. And it's uh, 
from this paper which discovered this concept. Uh, Uh, there are also very long periods like, like this, for example, eight, eight, uh, eight seconds. Second, uh, uh, so second uh, critics are based on the on, on the following uh, idea, uh, because uh, if you have a very small uh, amount of energy losses by rotational energy losses, so P dot can be explained not by dipole uh, losses, which are, which are uh, very low, but for other physical causes. For example, the main, more, more, more uh, uh, measured way is, is the wind. Wind from, from these objects, which, which is carries, uh, 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 carries uh, uh, magnetic moment more, much more effectively. Therefore, you cannot say that magnetic, magnetic field which you find from P dot is a, a really a, a real magnetic field. When you take into account the losses by uh, wind, the, the magnetic field estimation becomes order of two orders of magnetic left. That's. Therefore, uh, now uh, theory does not confirm, uh, uh, doesn't support uh, in full this, this field. This model. Uh, therefore, uh, it, it, the only way to distinguish between these two models is, is to make some observations. So uh, here uh, I show you the uh, properties of a known mm. soft repeaters. You see the four of them in genders with a, a, with such like curve of, of, of the uh, on the pulse. And there are also uh, mm, similar, uh, similar objects which are quite uh, more quiet than gamma reverse, but they have uh, uh, the same properties uh, high magnetic field and low uh, of high B and uh, 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 in the slow of rotation, the which is called anomalous X ray pulse. It depends uh, on the moment of inertia. If you take a white dwarf, for example, rotating, there is a big moment of inertia. And uh, for a long period, you can uh, have a value of pilots which are uh, expressed. Yes, I know, I know your idea, uh, maybe. I, I cannot say nothing, nothing like this. So, uh, this, this is the uh, light dwarf of this. Uh, of this uh, one of these uh, soft repeaters. And now I show you what Mazet discovered. This is discovered Mazet. First, first uh, uh, X ray pulsar, or uh, gamma ray pulsar, uh, soft gamma ray pulsar, in the discovered uh, on the sky. After that, several other uh, have been also discovered. I show you. This was another pulsar uh, which is discovered uh, in, uh, in 2004, which was enormously strong. It was much stronger than uh, any other burst, maybe several orders of magnitude, because it, its flux on the Earth is about one error per second. Yes. So it is square. And it has also the uh, same, same good uh, uh, periodical, uh, periodical uh, light curve. And uh, if you speak about these objects, then uh, uh, in Mazet's uh, group, uh, they found not only the periodical uh, relation, but also the they estimate, can estimate the maximum because, because of this high, high luminosity, all uh, uh, detectors were scaled, uh, scaled but they couldn't uh, separate it, completely separate it. 
So no, no birth, no genders had not been, been seen in the maximum. And in this particular objects, it was looked at that uh, they were lucky. This is just uh, XMM. Uh, this, this birth had been observed in all, all regions. Uh, it's optics, uh, it's hard uh, I don't know about uh, optics. Uh, this is new star also had been observed. So this uh, object had been observed many times. Not like giant objects, but like ordinary uh, uh, lower, lower intensity bursts. But in this low intensity burst, you could also, also could see also could see the oscillations. For example, this oscillation had been observed. Uh, about 11 years after the genders, also very good, uh, very well uh, visible uh, uh, light curve. But as I, as I told you, that, uh, this is genders. Uh, by swift, you see here the swift cancer. But to that moment, uh, it was one Soviet uh, satellite containing Columbus experiment called Carolus. And during this particular burst, Carolus had some uh, seen a signal, a seen signal, which is, was not uh, easy to interpret, and it was suggested by uh, Mazars at all uh, that this signal which they see is a reflection from the moon of this gamma reverse so the, the, this gamma reverse it, it is uh, falls uh, not only to on the earth uh, earth, earth but it, it, it is not uh, uh, it was not visible from the earth uh, at the moment uh, but it was, uh, it was in direct uh, this is from the moon so Due to this fact, if you calculate the reflection, uh, theoretically reflection of this burst from the moon and what the coronas would observe, it, it's very good coincidence of this. And they were able to reproduce, reproduce the maximum and to uh, uh, make the conclusion that this maximum is about 10 to 46. Earth. So uh, very high, much higher than the uh, other, but uh, um, it was supposed to be on the same. So, but nevertheless, it was confirmed. This was confirmed by also by And and what what is the frequency? How the behavior of the frequency? Uh, um, Frequency is decreasing during these 11 years, and these are points where these births have been observed. So it, it means that they have, that they have been observed oscillations in each of these points. Now, uh, briefly about another burst, another giant burst in uh, 1900. Uh, this was uh, exactly the same. The, the, Gabriel Bruce, uh, so, so the pillar in which magnetic field was uh, measured, so called measurements of magnetic field, due to, uh, uh, as they interpreted as due to magnetic, magnetic uh, type of radiation. So this is a light curve which was observed uh, from Columbus. Columbus also have observed this uh, burst, but uh, here it is was separated, and uh, for, the, for this verse, we, we, uh, the maximum is unknown, but nevertheless, it's probably the same order. And here, what is interesting, that uh, the uh, light curve of the pulse changed drastically. Bef this, it was data before uh, genders, and this is 
not the after birth. So you see very strong change of life curve. But not only not only life curve was changed, but also P dot was changed. You see, it's jumped three times. This is three times more uh, stronger, more uh, effective. And it, it cannot be happened in, in, in the case of a diagonal radiation, because in diagonal radiation, the average field cannot be changed so drastically. So you, can, you cannot find the, uh, the larger people. But if it's uh, connected with, with wind, then it's naturally that during the explosion, there is stronger wind and a larger, uh, stronger uh, loss of angular momentum and uh, increase of angular. And it was an uh, argument against uh, magnetic model. So this is the pulse shape also. Uh, in different uh, energy regions. Mm. And now we come to the another boss, which another sort of paper, which is doesn't have uh, yet uh, uh, genders, but it has several several periods of activity, just activity during which the periods have been also visible periods, and these periods of activity are separated by. Uh, few months or year or so. So you see how, how, how there are changes of, of, of the life curve uh, from one, uh, from one uh, cycle to another. It's a conclusion, but in between, between conclusion and, and this uh, curve, uh, I would like to say what the idea of measuring, uh, uh, giving the test. The, the uh, idea is the following. If, if the... Wait a second. Just a second. So, uh, what is the idea of this test? Uh, the idea is to observe not only periods, but also the phase. The phase. Uh, it is very important uh, because in the normal path, in the normal path, the phase is conserved. The all maxima after 10 years appear almost on the same point, maximum. Because phase is connected with the rotation of the neutron star and location of the magnetic pole. And magnetic pole is uh, strongly frozen into the matter. So after uh, 10 years, for example, there is a pedot, but this pedot is very, very low, extremely low, and they are not uh, so important. And even uh, only due to this fact, you can use millisecond pulsar as a best watch in the world. They are about two orders of magnitude better than any uh, hydrogen standard on Earth. And here we also have Newton star, we also have magnetic field, which is frozen. And from, in one year, this uh, axis of magnetic field can, can be uh, changed uh, much. So, if the explosion is connected with magnetic field structure, then the phase, sh the phase should be conserved. conserved. We cannot say here that it is exact uh, because it's, it is very difficult to, to measure here uh, in the case where, where, where the light curve is changing. But nevertheless, roughly, we can say that it is not uh, moved, for example, during this one uh, period, it, 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 it is not, uh, not strongly moved. But if it, connected with nuclear explosion, the nuclear explosion can happen chaotically on the surface of the neutron star. 
as it, after one burst, after one explosion, it can be uh, happen the maximum uh, on another point of the neutron star. And with the phase, the phase is changed, uh, big changes, uh, maybe several, several tenths of degrees and so, which is, would be visible. Therefore, I suggest here to check data, not only about periods, and not only about periods in this uh, small interval, but all together, and to, to find out that if the uh, phase changed or not, if it, if it changed strongly, then, then it confirms the idea of a nuclear explosion. If it doesn't change, then the magnetic uh, magnetic model would be right. So, it's written in conclusion. Therefore, I will not repeat it here. And this uh, is published in, in this in this talk, which I would like to put it. <laughs> Thank you.
but uh, I think uh, to go back uh, to the possibility that you have said is possible of considering infrastructure the right to of because of the energy uh, involved uh, in, uh, the, in the mission very much depend on the moment of reaction of the system. So this is what the possibility. But uh, the thing to look at the phase are so short and to look why not and, uh, and see if you can constrain the, the model yes. in some way. Well, yes, it's necessary to look, uh, but the uh, result is not predictable. Uh, you can predict what you have. No, it's okay, but it's worth the look. Okay. But it's not yet done. Okay, good. Let's hope that somebody will do it. Send yes. an additional, uh, an additional information. Good. Thank you again. Thank, thank you. you. It's not your first time, you know. Okay, it is your first time here. Here? No, I was. My last visit was uh, maybe 10, 12 years ago. Yes. On the conference. <laughs> before, before I missed, I missed the stop and <laughs> went to Luciano. Okay.